Djibouti. According to head office SKL, there's no availability at the campsite, but often there is uh, because people don't rock up. Um, otherwise, if they really can't fit us in, um, we'll ask DWNP again and hopefully by meeting with the, the park manager back in Kasani will have helped to make that go a bit smoother. Um, this road is a, even harder today because of all the rain, but this time when there's an option to go left or right, Andy's going to make the call and I'm not going to overrule him. And so if we get stuck, it'll be his fault. So I've been following Andy's suggestions for a while and we haven't got stuck. So I think he's going to be the navigator from now on. And check this out, he's invented knee hats. <laughs> Why do you have knee hats, Andy? My knees are cooking here, Jim. It's hot. Yeah. But that plexiglass not, uh, not provide any protection from ultraviolet rays. Uh, probably it makes it worse. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big magnifying glass. Stop filming and driving. Close. Oh, well, I wanted really it. like that. <laughs> I love it. Check my beard. Check it. Check it. Close, Andy. Get in real close. Down. There we go. Now we can have a conversation. What a nutter. Back in Sabuti. We got a campsite for tonight, and it looks like we've got one for tomorrow. We. We were setting up camp and then uh, some people came in and they got a bit stuck in the sand so we went and helped which turned into a, about an hour long uh, unstucking, they had a huge trailer so we were towing and digging and other people came and helped and eventually we got them out and they then heard about our predicament and offered us to share their campsite which was very nice so we've got a place for tomorrow as well. Um, now we're heading out, there's some lovely rain falling. For now it's lovely, but if it starts coming down hard, we might have to put the window back in. Yeah, so good to be back in Sabuti. And oh, the only news that's happened here, not much the last couple of days, but Wednesday, it's now Friday, two days ago, all four of the Cubs were seen at Rhino Pan and then there were um, heading off towards Marabu Pan, so Rhino Flay. So we're going to go to Rhino Flay now and then head towards Marabu Pan where the lions were two days ago. That's the best we've got. And maybe, maybe they'll turn up. We're very tired. That was another exceedingly long day and instead of a nap we um, did some thick sand recovery in the sun at one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so it was, uh, uh, we are a bit tired. But we go. Still rolling. Yeah. Ooh. I was very proud of his new beard. It's 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 almost it almost goes from my chin to my ear, but it's a bit weak in this area. But Andy assures me that that's normal, and how how manly beards look, and that in <laughs> in time it will it will look fantastic. He says that he also looks like that when he's trying to grow a beard for a few weeks. And Absolutely then, not true. And then it comes in. Like the hair realizes it's time to grow. And it just comes in and goes bushy. So I'm really hoping that'll happen. Because we don't have we don't have much time left. Andy. 
<laughs> Otherwise, the other option is when Andy shaves his beard, we keep uh, the hair, and I've got lots of different adhesives in this car, so we can adhesive it to my face somehow, and then I'll look good. Yep. Yeah, gonna go home, gonna go back to camp, eat a ready meal. My wife um, has been varying the ready meals. Normally, my wife and my mother-in-law cook up a bunch of big pot of something, and we get two options for ready meals. This time, um, my mother-in-law did her usual chicken ala cake. My wife did like four different meals. Hey, Andy? Hasn't it been great? It's been excellent. My wife would never do that. <laughs> it's just... Don't say that. Not her style. Yeah, it's true. It's not her style. We just had the most fantastic afternoon drive. We headed out and set up a time lapse uh, next to Leopard Rocks. Um, then, which is why we haven't been keeping you updated. But then we crossed the pans. We were heading to Rhino Flay, and we saw elephants walking across the plains, which just looked fantastic. The light was perfect and we've been waiting for to get elephants on the plains and they're always in the bushes so we got some nice shots of them walking then we passed a safari vehicle and they told us there were lions down at marabou pan so we decided to head that way on the way we found some lovely ground hornbills uh, which were not walking away from us for a change and the light was good and they were just sort of uh, scavenging around got some lovely shots of that headed down to Marabou Pan where we found the lions well we found a lot of vehicles about 10 vehicles encircling the lions but the whole pride was there the females were there the big males were there and they had four little cubs really cute little guys and they were flat when we arrived but shortly after we arrived they started waking up the little cubs and playing and tumbling and they were biting the big male's tail and jumping on him uh, was really super super cute. Um, it was a bit tricky with the with the vehicles. So I, I kept getting vehicles in my shots, and that frustrated me a bit. So after after I'd got some decent shots, we moved off a bit and hung back, hoping that, you know the people would start heading heading back for supper. And then the cubs actually started moving and they moved off from the bush where they were and climbed up onto a dead uh, branch uh, which was just beautiful they were sort of jumping on it and climbing up it and they got the light was perfect the sun was setting in the background it was really spectacular um, then we waited around a bit more hoping the the lions would all go drink they didn't so we headed back, picked up our time lapse, and we drove back home very pleased with ourselves and are having a beer at our campsite, after which we will eat a ready meal and go to bed. Andy? Are you happy that we left Lignanti early and came to Savuti? It seems to be the case, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it was a beautiful campsite, uh, the marsh was great, sorry, the swamp. But this place is just uh, next level. Mm. So, very okay. happy.